Welcome to another deep dive experience with the Burns team. I'm Laura Burns and welcome to our luxury state located in the Descanso area of La Cunada Flint Ridge. Welcome to 951 Descanso. This is one of my favorite properties that we've listed. Built in 2008 by Anders Troitsen, this property is known for its fine elegance and custom features. A country French palette here is welcomes you into this grand home that is five bedrooms, five bathrooms, over 55, 85 square feet of living space, not counting the secret playroom. So come on in and let's take a tour of this great home. Three steps welcome you to this front porch. As you can see, what I love about it is that this architectural distinction can be seen from the exterior and then all the fine finishes on the inside. Stone detail here as well as a covered patio with lights finished by copper downstream gutters and of course one of my favorite features a front porch swing. Can't you imagine yourself right there? Let's come on in to this oversized angled and pointed known for its French detail solid wood door. As you're coming in, you can immediately see some of my favorite features. The 10-foot ceilings, the plank flooring, and the fact that we're coming into an oversized entry. Don't you just see that this is a home that is calls for entertaining and gathering? As you come through the formal entry, you're welcomed into this arched with a tiny point there on the top that you'll see as a custom theme throughout the whole property into this living room. The base molding is oversized, custom with its detail designed on the corners and of course, it's custom cut out on the top. That base molding is lined throughout the whole property in every room. The 10 foot ceilings here make those eyes soar up to of course the oversized crown molding with attention to detail. Two multi-pane French doors allow accessibility to that front patio we were just talking about. Now, of course, here, our clients just switched this on to a gas fireplace. I absolutely love it. And on a cold winter day, just imagine the amount of heat that comes out here to make it all toasty. The finishings of the mantle, as you can see, which is oversized, as well as the side pillars, and then the custom hearth here is one that is reflective to the architectural style. Easy to put your Christmas stockings or, of course, your decor on it. The living room itself is oversized, has multiple recessed lighting, and flows graciously into the custom dining room. The dining room here can really fit a grand table. Our clients actually love this table so much. It was actually one of the same style of table that was here when they bought this home in 2012 that they asked the designer where they could get it, went out and bought it themselves. Drop chandelier, chandelier here, which is a glass chandelier. And of course, you do remember have that base molding and oversized crown molding. Picturesque window to the east is a custom center stationary window with side panels that of course have an interior screen and do open. They are of course dual pane windows. As you can see the depth of the dining room, I do want you to download the floor plan which is on the property website 951desconso.com where you can really gather the dimensions of each room and understand the depth of what I'm discussing for your open floor plan but yet still subdivided rooms and allow you to have just that depth of space here. I love these French doors here. These are oversized French doors, multi-pane with stationary side panels that easily open up to your outdoor entertaining area. Now, of course, we'll be going outdoors after we go through the interior of the home. So we're not done yet on the interior. So follow me as you're hosting your Thanksgiving. What do you need? You need a butler's pantry, a, a location where you can have everything set and ready. Your fine china, your glassware, etc. These are limestone countertops. It may be a little challenging for you to see, so I want you to see that they are a gray color taupe and darker, a darker gray color, which complements really nicely your French country look. These backsplash is hand created tile and then your leaded glass 
is on the interior of these butler pantry of course spotlights as well cabinets then right behind us here we have a KitchenAid multi um, units for your wine fridge now this isn't the only place to hold your wine there is a wine cellar below so we'll go there in a little bit soft closing drawers and great storage for all your napkins entertaining items and then of course because it's a butler's pantry as you're entertaining you need a separate dishwasher and this will be dishwasher number one for all of your entertaining dishware or perhaps your drinks and beverages. Again, another custom window with leaded glass and design, which is a French floor de lis, which is reflective to the architectural style. Cabinet under here, and of course, drink sink, as well as your chrome finishing here with your vintage handles absolutely love those now as you're going through again under your archway here which is the same peaked archway throughout the whole property welcome to the chef's delight kitchen this is a dream for me and i would love to have a kitchen of this nature first of all you have double ovens which are a thermidor line fantastic obviously utilized standard in size Adjacent to that, of course, you can see how the countertops continue in the lime, limestone finish. Microwave is a GE product and off the countertop. And again, I love this handcrafted tile. See the exceptional ribbon below here? It's just really one of those, I love that they have break up the squares with that ribbon. Of course, under cabinet lighting, you can see that lines all the way around the cabinetry. In this side, you have fabulous, fabulous drawer space. So much storage in this home. A Thermador six burner range here. And of course your matching hood, which is right above and it does extend and vent to the exterior. Notice the custom, again, hand created tile, which is your backsplash here with the signature bees and florals, which again is another tribute and detail to the architectural integrity of the home of the French line. Now across from the range, you do have your Thermador warming oven for to put there to keep your plates warm. And this is sits in, of course, your oversized center island. This center island I love with its maple block wood block finishing on the top here. Of course, another center sink right there, which is a porcelain glaze. And I love this because they actually have storage here. So one of my favorite is, is that you have another trash can and recycling all hidden in the center island. I really love the design of this also because you can have chairs here. So this is where my girls would sit with me every day if I own this home. Now on this side, facing of course north, looking out to the exterior, you have another dishwasher right here. And of course, another location for another garbage. And then you have additional cabinet space all across here. Notice the slow closing mechanisms, as you can see. Additional cabinets line all the way to the top here. They have their plates here. I wanted you to be able to see that. And of course, you can also see not only the under cabinet lighting, but hidden behind here, I also wanted you to see the Cat5 wiring. Because it was built in 2008, it does have that wiring. Now, what kitchen area is not complete, of course, with the finishings of the refrigerator. This is a Thermador, similar to a Sub-Zero type fridge. You can see just the space on this side, as well as your freezers over here. What I love about what they did here is they continued the cabinetry look on this appliance. So it really blends on in. Now for a house of this size, the other aspect that you need is storage. So for your pots and pans, you can store them right here below in the soft closing drawers. But let's say you have some additional appliances and of course all of your goods that you wanna store. Come on into this oversized L-shaped pantry. As you can see, not only do you have all the height with these built-in shelving where you can put all your canned goods, paper products, etc., but then you have this wide space back here where it can hold specialty plates as they do. But just imagine you could put all your excess like your Instapot or your slow cooker. All of those items can go back here. So much great storage. 
easy, easy to utilize. Now this kitchen opens up gracefully right into your eat-in kitchen area. So this is a great area for casual dining, everyday dining perhaps, of course, a window that it looks out to the west, interior screens, and again, those are dual pane. And it opens so lovely into this family room. This family room does have another fireplace. The finishing on the fireplace is a stone finish, which brings in that front door um, and, and that front patio area and porch area when you're coming in. It really brings that and ties it back in. Your oversized wood mantle, I love the grains of this. And if you get up real close, you can see that it has a little bit, not only a texture, but a little bit of um, uh, dips and valleys in this, which is again, a great finishing touch to make you feel as if it is all a, a custom design, which it is. Another gas log system here. And down below here, this hearth is actually a, um, a slate flagstone type um, finish there. French doors that are multi-pane, again, welcome you to the backyard. Right outside these doors, we have so much to talk about, but we're gonna talk about that later. Let me go show you the powder room as well as laundry room on this level. So let's go back to the entryway and let me give you a little bit of a peek on where everything is. So as we're coming back through, you can see all of the custom arches, again, with the point. Uh, Going to the west, you do have accessibility to a front closet, great storage throughout this whole house. Here is one of three nests, which is in the home. It is a dual system, as well as there is a tankless water heater for the whole home. In this bathroom, this bathroom, again, has a solid wood entry uh, and bronze finishings. What I love about this is the bronze finishings of the handles, as well as a rippled copper sink here that I absolutely love. Another limestone countertop here and vanity right below. Great powder room, all on dimmable lights as well. Behind this door, which of course you can close off should you be entertaining, is more of your mud room feel. So in this, of course, what I love is that this owner put up all this storage right here. This is accessible with the two car garage right here. It's an attached two car garage and your alarm system keypad, one is right here. Let me see, turn on the light here. So two car garage, plenty of room above. Even the stairs to go down to your car are finished with that wood planking. So really exceptional details throughout. Across the hallway from the garage is the private laundry room. Can, this room can be closed off. Finish with the tiled floor and then your floor-de-lis etching and, um, on the tile. This is holds side-by-side -side washer and dryer with, of course, cabinetry and finishings above. Now, you do have great counter space for folding and whatever it may be. You have wonderful drawers here and then more cabinets here. More cabinets back here. This is where I would keep mops, things of that nature. And then your utility sink. This is another sink with a chrome finish. Custom window with dual pane, screens on the interior. Again, this is west facing. And so much storage and counter space in this laundry room. Now this laundry room is located on the main living level. Now that we've finished with the main living level, let's go on up this grand staircase and look at the four bedrooms, three bathrooms that are in this home. Now remember, there's one more bedroom and it is downstairs. Now before we go on upstairs, I just wanna show you, I love the staircase. Finish with the same planking across. These are wide stairs and uh, the ironwork and spindles are custom to the home. So you can see that they reflect all the way up and you'll also see that going down as well. So let's go on upstairs and see the bedrooms. See you there. Welcome to the upstairs of 951 Disconso. Some of the finishes that I wanna talk about just in the stairwell alone. Again, you can see the finishes of the wrought iron work. Plus, the wood beam ceilings that of course finish off 
the hallway here and the stairwell, a drop chandelier and the double leaded glass windows. Of course, one as an arch and one as a rectangle. As you come up to this upstairs, what I love, especially in this quarantine time, is that our clients have finished off this large landing and created a, a desk area. So perfect for at home learning, whether you have your children or you need to be working from home yourself. Again, four bedrooms, three bathrooms, bathrooms are upstairs. So let's go into these first two bedrooms. These are more of a Jack and Jill bedroom style. So they share a bathroom. As you can see, you're coming in and leaving the wood plank flooring here into a carpeted finish here. This room faces west. And again, I love all the closet space. It feels like a walk-in closet because there is so much depth here. You can see the multiple hanging rails. And again, all of the closet finishings are easy to touch closet doors with the mirror inlay. Windows here are all dual pane and interior screens. And then of course, your privacy door open that up and it leads you into this dual sink bathroom. Limestone finishes with a, a little shimmer here. And of course your French country finish, cabinetry above, cabinetry below, and the handcrafted tile with blue accent ribbon, which is a French country blue. It just perfectly matches, matches, excuse me, this limestone countertop. I love this space. Of course, as you come in here, you have an oversized area in here with again, the same tra tumble travel travertine tile on the floor, Toto toilet, and in here is your, sh your tub and shower ahead. Again, what I love about what they finished here is the tile goes all the way up in the ceilings. The country blue ribbon is an accent with, of course, your chevron pattern of the handcrafted tile. So this bathroom is shared by these two bedrooms. This one, of course, to the south, and this one, of course, to the north. This secondary bath bedroom is one of my favorites. Why? Because, of course, it's a bedroom, but there's something fun about it as well. So you have your carpet finish here, and then, of course, base molding, another large entry closet here, I'm sorry, another large closet here, which has the depth, feels like a walk-in closet, large picture-esque window. And you have this bookshelf right here, which of course all your children's knickknacks can go on. But if you push this bookcase open, an additional 241 square feet is behind it. So this is my favorite. Welcome to a playroom. This could be perfect, whether this is your virtual classroom for all your children or just this playroom, come on in here. So some of my favorites right here are the fact that you have recessed lighting, carpet here, base molding. Again, none of the finishes were skimped and not utilized here. But then look at all this space. It's fantastic. I would love to have my children's toys out of my view. So another great space here and it's all hidden. So right behind, of course, this bookshelf. So let's go back and now look at bedroom number three. Welcome to bedroom number three. Bedroom number three faces to the rear of the home. Again, higher ceilings, oversized crown molding, your same closet space where you walk in and really have great space in here. Easy to close as you can see. Inlay of the mirrors, carpet here, and a wonderful picturesque window to the rear of the property. Now this bedroom has its own ensuite. It's again, a tumbled travertine floor, limestone finish on the countertop, and your French country cabinetry. And then of course, chrome handles and spout faucet with your vintage look. And here, it does have the, a more of a beige tile all the way to the ceiling with your country ribbon and an inlay ribbon to just accent the architectural design in here, which then puts these squares on a diagonal. Absolutely love this. So this would be your bedroom ensuite, whereas the other two, remember, share that bathroom. So now, you may be asking, where is the master? On our way to the master, here is your second thermostat, which again is the second of the Nest thermostats up here. 
Now on our way to the master, we're crossing over the landing. You have another closet and storage, easily accessible right off the landing. Of course, finished by the wood planking all the way into the, cl the closet. As we're walking from the wood plank planks into the carpeted area, you're welcomed into the primary bedroom. This primary ensuite is spatial. It has great space and generous in size, as well as finished with recessed lighting, which is dimmable, and your wood carved beams that I love that really just define the space. Of course, over here, what primary residence is not complete without a fireplace. Your mantle here is an oversized stated wood piece with the stone work and finished with your hearth here, which of course is your slate stone here as well. Large picturesque windows that are dual pane, which look out to the rear of the home. And of course, this is quite a large bedroom. Drop chandelier. Again, look at all of the beams here. And then you do have a keypad for your alarm upstairs here. And now we're entering underneath the pitched arches. We're entering into the walk-in closet and of course the attached bathroom. Your walk-in closet can be privatized by closing the door. Completely finished out with all of these built-ins. I absolutely love this. Dainty and yet sophisticated drop chandelier in here. Finished carpet, all the case molding around this. And then you do have so much hanging space as well as shoe gallery here. This is a drop down accessibility and ladder to your attic. Remember all those pitches of the roof, great space up there as well. I would be so organized if I had this closet. This would be phenomenal. As we come down here, we are now welcomed into the ensuite bathroom. Ensuite bathroom has the heated chevron tile flooring here. I love claw foot tub, which of course is a signature piece within the French architectural style. These limestone countertops are finished here with a little marble theme throughout. And of course your vintage tile is right behind as a backsplash. And your dual sinks, great storage here, as you can see on a slow closing mechanism. Private commode behind us here, which is another Toto toilet. Wayne's coating is all behind your claw foot tub. And then of course, your walk-in shower here with a glass enclosure, shower seat, and another dual head system, which of course also has your floor-to-lease and custom tile work on the interior. The chevron pattern is also in the shower pan. So I love that it's reflected all the way throughout. Great space in this bathroom. Now let's go downstairs and show you the entertaining lower level as well as the additional bedroom and bathroom on the lower level. See you there. Welcome to the lower level. Here I am standing in the staircase. I wanted to point out, of course, the handrail and finishings are the same that you saw going up the stairs to the upstairs bedroom level. I also love that they brought the stonework and on the wall coming down the staircase. Again, your same oversized stairs as well as wood finishings. Now, as you come down and step into this entertainment level, it's really a dream. You're greeted by having this oversized brick finishing and that will go all the way through here, the wet bra, and of course the wine cellar down into the additional bedroom and bathroom on this level. But let's first go into this entertainment room. I can just imagine how much fun they've had here. Finished by carpet, of course, you do have your recess lighting, which is dimmable as well. Remember base molding here, custom, as well as the custom crown molding. This is an oversized room. This is perfect. Whether you make this a media room, game room, or just a playroom for your kids, or keep it for yourself and make it your exercise room, I would Peloton this out in a heartbeat. I absolutely love it. Great in space. You can see our clients filled this space with, of course, their own custom furniture here, surrounding by their large TV. This is what it calls for. Sectional seating of this level. And behind us here, 
we have one of our favorites. This was actually a custom table that our clients created. And if you wanna include this in the sale, this is still possible. Oh my goodness, if Jason was on the other side, I would totally have beaten him. Man, this is when you need him here. <laughs> so I wanna show you one thing before, just so you know, people ask me, Laura, because this is the lower level, how do you get out in a case of emergency? All of that was thought through, and of course, this is permittable space. So this oversized window was created so that in case of an emergency, there is a ladder right outside, so you do have accessibility up to the ground floor level. Now, because this is your entertainment room, you need to have a wet bar. You can see this wet bar is finished here with your granite countertops. It's a darker wood, traditional in the bar setting, custom cabinets with slow closing mechanisms, more storage below, perfect to have bar-like seating. And then across the way, you have a tumbled travertine tile finish with a fleur-de-lis like uh, ribbon right in the middle. Of course, lighting under cabinet and in cabinet, beveled copper finish on the sink. I need you to get close on this because I love it. Look how beautiful and finished that is. It is so traditional in the French style. I love that they did that. Now coming in here, of course, everything does have an option to be of more on a dimmer. This is your wine cellar. The wine cellar here can hold over 1200 bottles and it has a solid wood door finished here with your leaded glass and a little staining of a grape right here. So great finish. Stone, of course, lines the back wall here, which is reflected in the architectural style all the way throughout. Come on, buy this home, let's fill it up with your great wine. It'll be fantastic. Now, as we go down this hallway right here, a couple of things that I do wanna make sure you see. First of all, down here is another bedroom and bathroom. This is perfect for your guest bedroom and bath. Maybe you have a live-in family that this would be perfect for. So this bedroom right here, carpet finish, of course, base molding, crown molding, overside light, and additional closet here with your bar finish. I love that all the closets have an in mirror and yet are very easy to close. Again, bronze finishings on all the hardware within this bedroom and additional windows here with the ladder accessibility in case of an emergency. And this room is really light and bright. So down here, because it's an entertaining room and the bedroom, you need to have your own bathroom. So down here is an additional bathroom. This would be your fifth bathroom in the home. Again, the brick flooring, you can see comes in from the hallway all the way here. Again, a limestone finish, decorative copper finishings on this sink with decorative floral design on the interior, chrome finish here with your vintage handles, and again, this limestone countertop I love. Toto toilets here, and this full bathroom with its tub, and then tile to the ceiling, the, di the diamond pattern here of the green and French cream is just one of those that I absolutely love. Again, all hand done. Behind this door right here is your door with access to some of the instrumental functions of your septic tank. Remember, this is in the Descanso area of Flintridge, so it will be on septic. Now, in this door right here, this will have your furnace behind here, so some of the utilities of the home. And remember how I told you that there are three nests? Here's number three right here. Now, this area would not be complete without another walk-in closet. So let me show you. Voila! Need a space for all your Christmas decor or holiday decor? This goes all the way back and then turns underneath the stairwell. So great storage opportunity in here. As you can see, it also has some electronics for both your Wi-Fi and your security system. Now that we've seen the interior and entertaining area of this home, let's go look at the entertaining area outside and see really where all the magic happens. See you outside. Now, welcome 
come to the outside. We are right off steps off of the family room. This is our, our client's entertaining patio on this side. So many places to entertain. You can see, of course, the concrete here is lined by the slate tile all the way around. Fountain here, which I absolutely love that just really finishes the space. Now this ex exterior outdoor kitchen is great. Of course, you have your concrete finishing on your, on your countertops here, storage right below. Of course, another sink storage and a Viking refrigerator out here, complete with all the drinks that you need. And then of course, a Viking range. Looks like they've used it. Of course they did, why not? You're out here. Now, just so you know, before we go, on this side are your condensers as well. So you'll have your multiple condensers on this side of the property, which is the west side of the property. Great entertaining space here for eating, dining, easily accessible right off the kitchen. Let's go on upstairs here. Now you wanna take these slate floor all the way up in steps, all the way up here. And what I love is you have step lighting, outdoor lighting, grassy area, citrus tree, and welcomes you to this beautiful finished dark bottom pool. This is a chlorinated pool with, of course, a built-in spa area as well. You can see that the water is overflowing on this yellow tile out here, which I absolutely love. Privacy abound in this backyard. And of course, your pool equipment will be in the south, east corner. I'm sorry, your northeast corner. I apologize. But again, so much entertaining space out here. This is also gives us a great chance to look on the uh, back at the house. You can see the stonework which was finished on the exterior of the family room and then of course all the way on the chimney stack. Um, there that comes off of the master. I also love all the peaks and gables of the composite shingle roof. True great color palette. You can see the exterior lighting and again the copper uh, gutters and copper downstreams of course. So let's take these steps back down. Notice all the outdoor lighting here as we're walking down the steps to the other side of the backyard here into another entertaining area. This area is finished. This area is finished with this great fireplace. Can't you imagine? It feels like Ojai. I love it. Another gas log system with, of course, an oversized wood, custom wood mantle with spindles un underneath. Then, of course, your chimney stack above. Finished with the slate finishing as a bench. This hearth is perfect for entertaining. Have your lounge furniture out here. And remember, this is the area right outside the dining room. So these double sets of French doors take you right back inside. Drains you'll see all the way around the patio and then of course you can even see on the copper lines here the drains go here and then are whisked out. Your gas line is on this side of the property and it is a completely fenced in yard. So can't you imagine hosting one of your events here opening the doors and just having the interior and exterior flow. This is my kind of home. I love it. Let's go in the living room and see how you can see this in person. Now that you've had an opportunity to see the interior of the home, you may be asking yourself, how do I have an in-person visit? We are offering in-person private tours of this property. All we need is, of course, the appropriate entrance forms, gloves, mask, and booties that are required. Please access the Calendy invite through the MLS listing. If you're unable to see that, then please contact Jason or myself. Call or text 626-826-4544. You can also visit the property website at 951disconso.com. There you can access the 3D interactive floor plan and spend more time looking at each room. You can also download a floor plan and look at all the square footage of this great home. It's a fabulous time to be involved in real estate and Jason and I absolutely love representing this property. With its custom features and design, the newer built in 2008, our clients have surely loved this home. So enjoy the opportunity as a property like this does not come on often in the Descanso area. Remember, for all your real estate needs, whether it's buying this spectacular home at 951 Descanso, selling, investing, or leasing, it's always better with Burns. Mm -hmm.